Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a quick video on all of the supplies that I use in my art. So let's get started, shall we? So for my sketchbook of choice, I actually have two of these already filled. These are my moleskin. I use the moleskin um, sketch, the art book. And I believe this one, this one is the 8x5 size. And I actually bought this from Barnes and Noble for around $20. And I know you can buy them off Dickblick, Amazon. Um, this is just a sketchbook that I've been using. This is the second one I've got and I'm almost done with this one. I don't know if I'm going to continue with Moleskin, but... They're really good for markers. They do sell watercolor sketchbooks. I just haven't gone around to try those, so I can't really review them. But these are pretty good sketchbooks. So this is my pencil case. The shark pencil case. And inside I have a whole, all of this junk. <laughs> So first I have this knitted dish dishcloth and I just use this to clean off my brushes. I accidentally put gouache on here on accident and I have to be careful not to like get it wet because the gouache will reactivate so that's just a heads up. I also have a mechanical pencil. This is actually what I use um, to travel. If it is an actual piece of art, I will use um, actual art artist pencils, but for traveling, I just use a regular lead pencil. This is a pencil aqua brush. This is actually what I use for when I paint on the go. It is just a watercolor brush where the water actually disperse through the brush from the barrel. I have four micron pens my smallest being the 005 which is like super thin next I have the 01 then an 03 and the largest size I have is the 05 so this is what I use um, for more watercolors my two favorite is usually the 005 and the 01. Sometimes I reach for the 03, but it's really rare. And the 05 I only use on larger pieces of art. And also, um, when I do manga style, I tend to go for the 05. Um, but other than that, I tend to stick with these two. And these are all in the black color. I also have sepia pens but these are actually the Copic multi-liners smallest being the 0.05 then the 0.01 oh I'm sorry that was the 0 0.05 0 0.1 0 0.3 and 0.5 and for this one same principle um, these I only tend to use more for watercolor if I'm going to do manga and I want more flesh tone or watercolor Skin tones I will use the O the 0.05 and the 0.1 and these two I actually don't believe I've actually used the 0.5 just because I don't really do that big of pieces that I want in sepia I tend to always go for black rather than sepia I have not actually used these with a lot of watercolors I have tested them on my moleskin but an actual piece of art I have not actually try these I tend to reach over for my microns here I have the uniball signo gel pen in white this is what I use to highlight um, all of my artwork I have a pilot g2 in 05 and it's just a Kind of like a gel pen more like a really ink pen and this i tend to use this one for quick drawings and pen in my sketchbook or 
um, inking with paper that cannot really handle micron pens and an example of this is a video which I'll annotate right now and I'll put it in the description down below when it is posted of the finish this drawing challenge where the paper was super thin that the microns and the multi line the Copic multi liners were too they'll bleed through the paper this is my go to in the 05 then here I have the Prismacolor brush pen or brush tip marker and it's just a felt tip marker this one is actually not water Proof, so I don't really tend to use this with watercolors this is just for um, if I'm again using just black pen if I want to make the lines thicker I'll reach for this but the Prismacolor brush marker is not water not watercolor or waterproof so don't use it with water paints because it will bleed everywhere Another one, here I have another aqua, the Pentel Aqua Brush. This one though, instead of being filled with water, this one's filled with ink. This one, I believe, is filled with um, speed balls. I guess I think it's black Indian ink. And it's just, as you can see, there's a lot because I haven't used it. Just like that. And then this, I tend to use and you can also like dilute it and my finger is now stained great this one I'll tend to use if I want to cover more large spaces than just black ink like inktober stuff like that where I used and this one if you do choose to do this um, you can dilute it so you can put like the ink and then fill the rest with water to get gray washes you can do blue ink sepia whatever color just make sure it's not waterproof because then it will damage the bristles. It has to be water soluble in order for it to flow. If not, it will just clog up in here and you won't have any ink and that will just suck because you just wasted a perfectly good brush. Now for erasing pencil stuff, I just have this high polymer eraser by Pentel. It's just a regular eraser. You can buy at Staples, Target, Walmart, anywhere really and they're pretty affordable. This is what I use. Now the last thing are my paints, obviously. This is the Prima Marketing Tropical set. They have, oops, before, when I first bought this, they only had three, Tropicals, Classic, and Decadence, which is like a dessert. I believe they have two more um, sets, but this is the one I use, Tropicals. And in here is also a little swatch out if you want I can do a full review thumbs up this video and I'll do a review on the Prima watercolors just because they are amazing watercolors that it's you kind of have to buy them to see how they are so all these colors are Prima the two on the side on the top and bottom row and all the ones in the middle are the Windsor Newton Cotman watercolor and I decided to put everything in one pan and this thing like actually comes out and they all snap in there nice and cozy so this is all my watercolors two different sets that I just put in here and I have the swatch and I just fold it up and that's it so I'll put the link on where you can buy this on I bought this off Amazon I believe it was like $17 which is amazing for the amount of paint and the pigment of these tropical Prima watercolors so I'll put the link in the description down below um, I haven't tried any of the other sets so I can't really recommend any of those but if you can only afford one I would say to get the tropical ones just because I believe that they're super pigmented and they're amazing if you want to see a review and swatches just thumbs up this video and I will totally get that done for you guys so that's everything in this one in the next one. I have this cute little latte. I don't think it fits my camera. Oops. I'll post a picture of it right now. And this is where I keep all of my Copec markers. 
And I do have a lot more in a storage bin. I can do kind of like a... Oops. If you guys want to see all of my art supplies, because these two pencil cases, the latte one and the shark one, are actually just my traveling cases. If you want to see my complete, uh, I guess like art workplace, work I can't speak right now, comment down below that you want to see it and I'll get that done <laughs> eventually. So in here, let's just start off with the most strangest item. Red pencil. This is just a regular erasable red pencil. It is actually the same company that makes the regular erasers. These are just the red ones. I actually bought these at Hobby Lobby. I know that Walmart used to sell them and I guess you can say they're like a really quick, fast, cheap alternative to the Coley Race or the Prismacolor. Oh, I think it's Prismacolor Coley Race. The Coley Race uh, pencils, um, just because they're actually meant to be used by elementary school kids to correct each other's assignments. Instead of red ink, you can use red pencil. But they actually work the same as the Coley Race, and I don't have to wait online to get them or go to the store because I know Michaels does not sell these like open stock or even anywhere really. Hobby Lobby, I actually, I know they sell the Prismacolor pencils and you can get the, I guess, I think, believe the name of the color pencil for Prismacolor is non-photo blue, which I do not have with me right now, but that one's just a regular blue color pencil and the color non-photo blue. But I chose the red one just because the blue one was okay but it didn't blend in a lot with the skin tones. I felt the red was a little bit better. All right, so in my latte bag, I have four different types of markers. I have the Copic Chow, the Windsor Newton Pro markers, Copic Sketch, and the Spectrum Nior, Nior, something like that, markers. So starting off with the Copic Sketch, 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 what? The Copic, Copic sketch markers. This one comes with this is a set of six markers, and this is I believe the hair the hair set, and it came with a W11, WR31, E08, E33, E37, and W2. Now, in reality, I tend to use these more for skin, and then only a couple colors for hair. But, this is the Copic Chow, and of course they come with a brush nib, a brush nib on one side, and a chisel tip on the other. And I'll be putting the name and number of each Copic uh, marker in the description down below. Now for the Spectrum New York marker, I only have one marker. <laughs> there, it came in a set of I believe like 24 markers at Hobby Lobby. This one is in PP3, which is a pink, and the Spectrum New York come with a bullet nib, bullet tip, and a chisel tip. These ones are actually really hard to to get off but it does come in a larger set but it these actually do not come in brush nibs you can change them out for brush nibs but they're gonna cost extra and the price was okay I believe I paid maybe around $17 at Hobby Lobby that was already, it's already including the 40% off coupon so it's a pretty good deal compared to I believe the Copic Chow's are $35 at Michael's and of course you can sometimes they have like the 40% 50% off coupon to get the set. I only carry two Windsor Newton Pro markers. These I also got at Michael's but I did not get these in a set. Michael's does not sell the Windsor Newton Pro markers in a set other than the neon set and the metallic set. 
I believe, no, not even, not even um, Hobby Lobby. You can only buy them a set online, and I only got them in cool gray three and, and warm gray three, just because I wanted some sort of a neutral, not neutral, but some sort of a gray color in my work. And these ones come with, once again, a bullet nib and a chisel nib. And they also have the Winsor Newton brush markers, but I don't own any of those. Uh, I only have two pro markers, which I actually use a lot just because I feel like instead of getting a Copic sketch or chow in a gray, I like the Winsor pro markers gray. And finally, all of these Copic sketch markers that I own. And I believe there's actually a couple more that are not in here just because these are the colors I tend to reach for. And of course I'm going to have all the color names and uh, the numbers in the description. So here I have E18 which is a brown, E79 which is a darker brown, cashew and copper. This is E29 burnt umber, E15 dark suntan. E13 light sun tan. I never realized there was dark sun tan and light sun tan. Oh. Then for skin tones, I have E11, which is barely beige. I actually have two of these on accident. I actually bought a skin skin tone set in the sketch. I got them at Michaels, and at Michaels they, I believe, are $50. But again, like, wait to use the 40% or even 50% off to get them discounted. So I had already bought the E11 separately, and then the set, it came with another. So I have two, two E11s on accident, um, which you don't have to with Copec just because they are refillable. You don't need to buy them twice. You just refill, but this was an accident. I have E00 Cotton Pearl, which is, like, super, super light. I have E21 Soft Sun, and then E21... Baby, baby skin pink. So these are both E21s. They just have different names. I believe I got the baby soft pink by itself. And then again in the skin set, it came with the sun, the soft sun, the E21 soft sun. But I didn't realize it because I had memorized the name and not the numbers. So when I opened up the package and saw that I had two E21s already, I was like, well, now I have two E11s and two E21s, but these were both accidents. Um, you do not need <laughs> you do not need to buy two of these. These are refillable. The Copec markers are refillable. The Winsor Newton and Spectrum are not refillable. Those you will have to replace. Here I have E15, oh not E15, Y15, Cadmium Yellow, which is I believe the only yellow I have for the sketch. I have 100 black. This is R27 cadmium red. R24 prawn. R20 in blush. B29 ultramarine. And B24 sky. So these are all the Copic sketch. So that's basically that everything that I have on my traveling cases. Um, obviously if I know I'm not going to be using my Copex, I'll leave that behind, but this is as compact as I usually have just because I don't really know what I'm going to draw until I get to wherever I'm going. I'm really indecisive, but for the most part, this is everything. I will have all the materials down below in the description, links on where you can buy the Prima watercolor set, and then of course the names of all the markers. And yeah, so that's everything. Thumbs up this video if you want to see a completed art workspace tour so you can see all my artist materials. Comment down below if you want to see the Prima watercolor review, just because honestly, they're amazing. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.